What is up YouTube? My name is James. I'm bringing you guys a brand new editing tutorial here today. Today, I'm going to be editing for you guys a portrait that I took at a meetup like three weeks ago from start to finish. And I'm going to go from completely from editing the contrast, the shadows, the highlights, all the way down to using brushes and stuff like that. The photo is one of my absolute favorites I've taken in a super long time. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I love it so much. So, if you ask me to share, leave a like. That'd be really appreciated. Anyway, let's get into this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, guys, so this is the photo we're going to be editing today. Her name is Georgia at Georgia Williams on Instagram. The link to her Instagram will be in the description below so you guys can go follow her. This photo is honestly one of my favorite photos I've ever taken. The raw doesn't look too good, but the final edit will look amazing. This photo was taken at a meetup by, I believe it was uh, Dream Dwellers. It was about two weeks ago on the 17th of June. Um, that was maybe three weeks ago actually now. Wow, actually kind of a long time ago. Anyway, let's get straight into this edit. We're going to be going for like a dark, moody feel to this photo. So, right off the bat, we are going to up the contrast to around like 50-ish I'm feeling. Like, kind of like right here. Like, up here is like too much. It like blocks like the detail from her hair from coming out. And just like, I don't think it looks that good. But like, I think 50-ish, like right here, is like perfect. Next, very quick, I forgot to edit the temperature. I just want to make it a little bit more cooler. Actually, I'm feeling a little more lighter, actually. It was originally like 4,500. I want to bump up to like 4,700. Like right there-ish. I think that's really good. So it will give us like a dark, warm tone. Next is the highlights. We're going to bump that up to around, again, like plus 50-ish or so. I think that looks really good. Next are shadows plus, mm, let's say 60-ish. We want to get the detail into her hair. Like, we want to get the most detail possible out of it. And when we crush the shadows and the blacks in the tone curve, we is that. And when we do our tone curve, we're going to lose a lot of that. And it's going to look really cool. And when we mess with the tone curve, it's all going to come together. Trust me. Next, for the whites, we're going to put that up to, let's say, around, like, 45-ish. I think that looks perfect. Next, blacks, we're going to up that to around, let's say, like, plus, like, 36. I think that's good. Next, clarity, we're going to throw it down to, about like, minus 21-ish. Really, really make sure there is, like, that smoothness on our skin and all that. We really, really think, I think that's really important. Next, we're going to skip the vibrance and saturation. We'll save that for later if we decide to mess with it at all. Next is the tone curve. Now, with the tone curve, we're going to make three points. The first point is going to be around, like, like right here-ish. The next point is going to be around right here. And then our third point is going to be around right there. It's exactly how I want this. That's perfect. Actually, no, I'm going to bring it down a little bit. It's like right there. That's perfect. This is exactly what I've planned for this photo so far. Next is our HSL, our hues, saturations, and luminances. Next, we're going to be messing with the yellow. We're not going to mess with the orange or the red because we don't want to mess with their skin tone that much. We're just going to make the orange, like the yellowness in their skin tone, just a little more orange. Give it a little tan a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> next is um, the blues. We're going to make the blues a little bit more aqua. Like, just like not too much, just a little bit. Pretty much just for her shirt. Next is our luminances. We're going to boost all of our luminances to around plus 30. Just go along just like this. I started doing this for a lot of my photos. I think it boosts the quality of it a lot. And I think it's a lot of fun to mess with. Um, I always, I've been doing the luminances. Like boosting them all. Every color. Just almost every photo now. It's one of my favorite things to do. I don't know what it does exactly. But it, it just, just makes it look better. I don't know why. It just does. 
Next, we're going to be messing with the highlights and the shadows in our split toning section. What we're going to do first is make the highlights a bit like a bluish violet almost. Um, so right here, we're going to make it around like right here. And we're going to make the saturation like, like right there. That's exactly where I want it. That's perfect. Next, we're going to go to the shadows, give it more of an orange, yellow, green feel. We're going to go right over here-ish. And bring the saturation down a little bit. To about like right there. Perfect. Next, we're going to go to vignetting. I already know how much I want to vignette in this photo. Not too much, just a little bit. Just like that. That's exactly how I want it. And next, we're going to go to our camera calibration and just bring our blues down to what negative 15 or so. Lastly, what I want to do is I want to mess with the exposure. The exposure, I do the last part of the photo. I kept it bright for a reason because I'm now at the end of the photo. I'm going to bring down the exposure to about minus. 0.45 and now you have this super dark warm moody picture I think it's awesome you have our holding your glasses the prism on that I held to the right side of the camera kind of splits her hand in half into two different tones a little rainbow right here some like little like um I don't even know what to call this like a little like a uh, like I don't know like blue shit up here because of the because of the reflections in the prism I just think it's super cool, and I really like how this photo came out. Next, before we wrap it up, one last thing that I want to do is I want to go into her glasses here, because sadly, I didn't get to focus on her eyes. I focused on the glasses. That was an accident. I didn't mean to do that, but it still could work out in our favor, because it still looks super nice. So, because we brought down the clarity of the whole photo... I want to bring up the clarity where it matters up here to really get the most detail possible out of this whole area. So like we're going to make her whole just like this whole area over here just more cl higher on clarity. Let's go to our clarity just like that. And now let's see how it looks from over here. Let's turn our brushes off and on. To be honest, I like it without the brushes. So what we're going to do is we're just going to leave the brushes off. We're going to delete our brush because I don't like how it looks that much. And we're just going to leave it how it is. Guys, that is this photo edited from start to finish. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, let me know what kind of tutorials you guys want to see next. This is one of this is just a portrait photo with a prism that I took and I just really wanted to share this because I really like this photo and the edit a lot. Comment also comment, let me know what kind of tutorials you guys want to see next, what kind of photography, whether it's street, portrait, fashion, whatever it is. I'm doing a lot more tutorials in the upcoming days and weeks. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials, vlogs like behind the scenes of shoots, all that stuff. And lastly, guys, my name's James. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.